In late June, when the names of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and others were written on the steps of St. Paul's, along with BLM and I Can't Breathe, my initial reaction was, the graffiti won't stay. Why? Because this church is a church with predominantly white members. In the past, it has been in the business of trying to understand our history, do a little truth telling, come to grips with today, and move on to reconciliation of the past and justice in the future. I received comments from several longtime members who wanted to leave the graffiti as a memorial and the vestry in discussion agreed. We discovered the graffiti on Pentecost morning. I was about to preach a sermon on the importance of breath. Pentecost is all about breathing, particularly the spirit breathing life into humanity. The gospel message was about uh, Jesus moving into the upper room with the disciples, not only breathing onto them, but breathing into them the breath of life, which takes us all the way back to the Garden of Eden when God breathed life into humanity. And on the front steps of St. Paul's was the message, I can't breathe. So I did a lot of thinking about that and uh, some discussions with my vestry and we decided that we would leave these marks, uh, these memorials on the front steps. George Floyd, Trayvon Martin, Breonna Taylor. Um, they're here to remind us that uh, there's another sermon that needs to be preached. Since 2003, I see the efforts of clergy and many members striving to bring truth to light. On September 27th, the church via Zoom participated in a Reconciliation Sunday. It was the culmination of a four-year journey to study St. Paul's history of racial inequity, a litany of repentance, rededication of the Lee and Davis windows to the proclamation of God's love, and commit to the ministry of racial justice, healing, and reconciliation. After watching the Reconciliation Sunday video, a nephew in another city called to say, St. Paul's has some serious activism going on. Awesome work is being done. So I hope that when people walk by here, they'll, they'll hear a sermon. They'll hear a sermon from George Floyd, from Trayvon Martin, and from Breonna Taylor, saying that the world needs to change and that every human being has a right to flourish and to experience equality.